Welcome back to the J Podcast. Today I'm going to go right into NVIDIA's ability to stitch images together in a seamless manner to make up faces. You might have seen this. I'm going to go back to a Medium article from December. NVIDIA is a graphics card company. They make graphics cards for computers and game consoles alike. And here they describe a process in which they can stitch together other images, and they use quote-unquote machine learning to rip apart other images and then stitch together new images in a realistic fashion to make faces. Here's an example of what some of the faces look like. And they also show how they're, how they're combining the faces to get completely new faces. The above challenges you to pick which one of these images is the real image of a person and which one's generated by a computer using this stitching process. It's even doing the background. Trick question, both of these are done by a computer. So I'll put this in the description, but what really brought me was this website, which is, I believe, based on their open source GitHub uh, version. NVIDIA released their software that they use to kind of do this. And this person does not exist.com allows you to just hit F5, refresh, and make a new face. And sometimes it's pretty seamless. Sometimes it will put on glasses. Sometimes it'll decide halfway, nah, this person doesn't need glasses after all. So you get some weird results. But most of the time it's pretty spot on. Like she's only wearing, I don't know if that's an earring or a water droplet. That water droplet up here in the right over on this picture too. So you get some of these weird artifacts occasionally, but for it to make a completely... <laughs> that bowl cut, yo. It's super weird though, super weird. So I'll put this website down in the description. And to cap it off, I found this brilliantly creepy story from No Sleep. No Sleep is a forum where people that, like me, don't sleep can make up creepy stories to creep you out and help you not sleep further. So, <laughs> the title of this one, from Darwin Demon, is the website we were just on, thispersondoesnotexist.com. So credit goes out to them, but I'm just going to read this for those that are driving and just want to listen, and we'll go right into it. Let me just get some coffee real quick. All right. <clears throat> this website is real. Trust me. Try going on it. If you don't, you can generate faces of people who don't exist via an AI. Sounds cool. Catfishing bait, etc. I thought so too. I was fascinated by it, and I kept reloading it to see new faces, wondering how these very realistic people didn't exist at all. Maybe someday, a human would be born looking exactly like a face that the AI generated, but maybe not. With the endless possibilities of faces, we would never know. Or so I thought. An hour ago, I was sitting in my bedroom, alone, and I hit refresh. And my face was staring back at me. At first I thought it was a coincidence, but then I noticed that exact same mole on my cheek. Everything about that face was the same as mine, and it was smiling at me, knowingly. I would be lying if I said I didn't freak out right away but I convinced myself that it was accidental and that I should just take a walk. As I got out of my room, I saw my boyfriend sitting on the couch, looking at his phone. All I needed was some company. My mind was playing games on me. I walked up to him and sat down, my head on his shoulders. He didn't flinch. I wondered what engrossed him so much. Hey, you, I muttered. Nothing. What the f was wrong with him? I shook him. Again, nothing. And there was a knock at the door, and he got up like I wasn't there. As he opened the door, my throat felt choked, as I realized that to him, it seemed like I didn't exist. A beautiful girl walked in, and they kissed. It was so painful to watch. I ran into the bedroom again, as they settled on the couch. I looked at my messages, my gallery, all empty. Was this some cruel joke? Was my boyfriend pranking me for Valentine's Day? Would he kiss another girl for a prank? Knowing him, and his dedication to his foolhardy ways, 
He probably would. Deciding that this was the only plausible solution, I walked out, when I noticed that all the pictures were of him and her. Things that we had done together, memories that we had created, were all with her. F Photoshop, maybe? I hoped. But then it hit me. I had been home before him. He'd come in a couple hours ago, and we were together about ten minutes before I walked into the bedroom and opened that godforsaken sight. He couldn't have done all this in ten minutes. I guess it was just wishful thinking then, but I went up to him, shook him, and said through sobs, I know it's a prank. I'm crying now. Please, stop it. The one thing he would never let me do is let me cry. And when he didn't react at all, I knew there was no prank. I couldn't understand it. I knew I existed. I don't think anyone else did, though. And then, when I tried to recall my name, I had no idea. I opened Facebook. There was no login. No email accounts, either. Panicking, I opened Reddit. I'm still logged in on here. I guess anonymity has its benefits. I have no way of finding my name or anything that identifies me from this account. I don't know what to do or where to go. I don't know if... I'll always be just around, or be no one and nothing, or if I will vanish by the time you all read this, all I know is that I exist. And hopefully, some internet strangers now know too. Help me find me. Bravo, Darwin Demon. Very creepy. Very creepy indeed. I thought of something else as well. What if, while going on that site, see if we can pull it back up here, I don't know if you're familiar with the odd idea of like imprinting, but what if in scrolling on this site you fall in love with a person that doesn't exist and you're destined to know that you'll never find them? <laughs> well, that's pretty much it for the day. Thank you for tuning in to the depressing ASMR with the J podcast, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks again.